Hey guys, what's up? Giving you a little bit of an update on the Upper Mississippi River Valley map. I've gotten a lot of requests here lately to to kind of show you guys some of the progress and updates on the map. And uh, I don't want to make this too long of a video, but um, I will show you guys some of the features that you can expect in this new map um, and some of the things that are still a work in progress. So I want to start off by showing you guys the new sign pack that's going to be released with the map. Um, this is really going to be for people that are making their own maps. Um, one of the things that I've noticed that's been lacking in the farm sim community, at least here in the States, is a decent pack that has all the road signs, things like that. And so I went ahead and made one for us to all use. And, um, you know, it's completely free for everybody to use on their maps. And I just, all I would ask is that you give me credit for uh, making the pack and all that kind of stuff. But, um, I want to kind of show you what's included in that and all the signs that are on this map with the exception of a few will be in the sign package however all of the signs in the sign package are not on this map because there's some signs that don't really fit in this part of the country so I'm trying to make a sign package that works for everybody no matter where you're at you'll be able to get some use out of it so hopefully that'll encourage some people to make some decent uh, American style maps. Ooh, almost missed my turn. It's kind of hard to drive backwards. Alrighty. So we are at the sign package here. And as you guys can see, lots of different choices for American style map or yeah American style maps um, this is not complete yet there's still some signs that I'm planning on putting in and if you guys have any suggestions by all means send me a, uh, a message on my Facebook page I'll leave a comment here on this video um, I really kinda like to see what you guys enjoy and so I mean if there's a, a kind of a unique sign or cool sign you think would be good in, in the sign package shoot me a, a message and I'll try to include it um, I've got all of the warning diamond signs, what I call them, uh, very common in the U.S. Uh, got some construction signs. As you can see, it's kind of hard to see with the light flashing on it, but uh, got some flashing, like stoplight signs, flashing warning signs for the diamond maps, and these are all customizable. So, like you can take that light head head off and put it on any sign that you want. You can take like the, the warning flags here. You can put those on any any sign that you want. Um, signs like this, you'll notice how they're kind of glitching out. That's actually meant to be that way because there are uh, like five signs stacked right there. So it makes it easier when you're placing this in the map. If you need it to say south, for instance, then you're, you're going to delete all the other ones that are in there and leave the south one and it's going to say south and you're not going to see the glitch um, so they're all they're set up so that you can customize them so right now those they're all in there that's why they're glitching out but uh, also as you can notice some of these are blank and that's so that you guys can easily edit these in a in an image editor put your own text or numbers in there and you can make your own signs easier got some blank diamond signs uh, obviously the highway ones got some blank speed limit signs got a couple barricades this one kind of fell over sometimes they do that when we're playing around with them trying to figure out how to set them um, so that'll, that'll all be fixed got some little signs and these are really the ones I'm working on now um, putting all these little detail signs um, there will be uh, some farm type signs they're not all going to be road signs so that's kind of the first of those but you'll see a lot of different signs for maps or for farms um, this is actually a, a message board sign for like the side of the interstate and it will actually scroll through and there'll be instructions in the pack that'll tell you how to add your your text and uh, you can put whatever you want there and it'll scroll through different messages if you like got some marker posts with reflectors on them for the side of highways things like that so yeah that's the sign pack that's going to be coming let's go ahead and jump back out here and actually I do want to touch on one more thing let's zoom out here 
So as you can see, we've got a completely new set of sky textures. It's nighttime right now. There's actually stars. There's a moon. Just adds a lot of realism to this. And what we've done is we've actually added this to the map files. So no more going into your uh, your uh, game files, your core game files, and changing things. If you're not that tech savvy, you want to worry about it. All you're going to have to do is put this mop or put this mad mop in. <laughs> I can't talk. This mod map into your folder and you're gonna get these sky textures so and sorry I'm actually speeding up time but I have it set so it's also my money cheat so here's kind of a morning texture more of a like a midday texture so the airplane flying around up there See if we can find an overcast. There's your sunset. And it's going to be night again. Let's see if we can get an overcast day real quick. As you can see, the cell points are working. They're sending us demand messages. There's an overcast day. Very realistic. I can't tell you how many days Iowa looks like this. Alright, so let's head over to the old farm and I want to show you guys. Oops, forgot it's no longer nighttime. The lights are working. So those flash yellow at night and then they start a cycle during the daytime hours. And as you can see, if you run the red light, you get a ticket. Alright, so some of the things that are still a work in progress um, the sidewalk textures man we are just absolutely struggling with these things and it's not so much that it's a, a outside of our abilities it's just a pain in the butt there's a lot of sidewalks in this map and to pull them all out and try to put them in blender and retexture them make them one object it's just it's really proven to be difficult and so um, they're still persistent they're still an error right now. Not really an error, but they're just uh, graphically they don't look very good. Um, these like city signs. These are still some old textures that were from the old map. So uh, like at night they glow, and so that's something that I'll be changing. Easy fix. These trees and stuff. That's actually uh, just my mistake. I forgot uh, to fix those before I went in to uh, show you guys this this update so those are actually fixed in the current version but I was playing around with the trees and uh, lost the texture file on those ones and so no big deal um, they'll be all fixed as you can see there's the sidewalks glitching out um, as you can notice there's some scenery objects now on the map benches and stop sign or uh, fire hydrants and trash cans street lights that are working manholes, different textures on the roads. So let's get up here to the old farm and I'll show you some of the like what I'm actually working on right now. Uh, gameplay wise this map is basically uh, I don't want to say done but it's basically to the point where you know playability is is 100%. Uh, the reason I'm saying it's not done is because there's still things like the additional things that we want to add. Uh, you know train angles for the the uh, textures on the fields and um, you know maybe some additional crops things like that but as far as the stock game features everything's in animals are in all the sale triggers are in um, all the sale points I guess I should say um, the farming works the animals work so everything is ready to go uh, my corn withered away while I was zooming through the days here earlier um, there's some unique textures on the map that are new to this map haven't been used on any others as far as some crops go starting to lag here but I think it's because I have this farm decked out with some pretty intense mods right now just trying to test it out and they're trying to load up right now as we're getting into the view distance of them. 
All right, so as you can see, there's some some newer oops, some newer textures and things, signs, um, different objects to make the map to make everything feel alive. Actually, zoom forward again to go to night. I want to show you guys the, the lights work. Doors work. All of the gates are working. I was actually in here testing this out earlier before I recorded it, so um, that's why everything's open right now. But as you can see, gates work, the doors work, light switches actually, oops, actually flick on and off. And as you can see, they're turning lights on and off. So right now the, the main goal is to add all these details to the farms, make them feel like there's someone actually using the farms and they're, uh, you know, they look like they're alive. They don't look like an empty, bunch of empty buildings and things. So that's kind of the big push right now to get all those detailed objects in. As you can see, I'll turn the flashlight off. Lights are working. And I'll turn the flashlight back on to show you that the switches are working too. Got our animals working. Now this is kind of the older farm, so it's got a lot of just miscellaneous junk and, and everything. I mean, this is definitely a family farm that's been around for a while. So there's a lot of, you know, just kind of miscellaneous pieces laying around and kind of gives it some character. I'll zoom forward again here, get some daylight. Have some free range chickens, kind of just they uh, go wherever they want around the farm. And just to kind of show you that the animal areas are working. We can open the animal dialog. And let's go ahead and buy a bunch of sheep. And there's a place in town you can go and pick them up and transport them and all that stuff. So as you can sh as you can see the sheep are working all of the food points and water points work So I've really been spending a lot of time just making this map as detailed as I possibly can. Just adding a lot of little features like, you know, vehicles that are out in the middle of fields and, you know, and some junk piles and things like that. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate all the comments. <laughs> as you can see, there's some of my scenery stuff there floating in the sky that I'm placing but um, anyways I really appreciate all the comments you guys give it really helps motivate us keep you know 
keep them going on this map and getting things squared away for you. Um, again, remember the signs. If you guys have any good ideas for signs or anything like that, feel free to send me a message. See if we can get some cool signs added to the, the package there for you. Um, as far as when the map's going to get released, I know that's what everybody's waiting for, and I, I truly want to get this map out to you guys as soon as possible, but I also want to make sure that the map is the map that I want to get out to you guys, if that makes sense. So um, it's really kind of hard to give you a, a, an exact date, but we are definitely getting closer every day. Um, we're plugging away at this. People are putting a lot of hours into this map, and so it will definitely be released here soon. I just can't give you an exact time because I don't know. But uh, it's definitely coming quickly, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get it to you guys. The mod pack is still in the works to go along with it, some vehicles. Um, the sign package is going to be coming out with it as well. So hopefully this will kind of uh, give you guys something to look forward to. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook, shoot me a message here on, on YouTube. Uh, you know, give me some likes and comments if you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys would like to see some other uh, videos with other areas of the map, just give me some ideas and I'll be glad to, to film some stuff for you guys so that we can kind of show you the, the map and show you what's going on. So until then, until next time, I guess, I will catch you guys later and thanks again.